Hi everyone, this is Carlo and Mia. Welcome to this video. I'm here with Sonic and today we both went to Comic-Con. Yay! So once a year we have Comic-Con here in Brussels. And uh, well, I have, been a I have been making a few videos. I hope you really like them. Uh, because I can tell you, it's not quite easy to record with so much crowd around. And uh, also filming the exact item that people like is also kind of hard so I have I've been making some random shots and I certainly hope that they turn out okay because it's really hard to work in a very precise way on these events so I certainly hope the videos will be quite okay even though I really love making them and it's a good souvenir for afterwards what I actually did um, I had a look at the items first to see what I was going to record and yeah, I made also some random shots, but... And afterwards I just got my stuff. And then... Um, I have been filming a bit, so... Actually, I did a few... Um, I passed by several times, just to make sure that I had the right item, that, that I had to choose the right items and... Um, and make some nice records. And I was actually looking for Sonic stuff for the major part of the afternoon. But I can tell you it's really hard to find here. So I've been asking like a lot of people if they had any Sonic merchandise, which is quite hard to find. I think I was the only one <laughs> looking for that kind of stuff. Um, but I found a few items. Um, just a few. But they, I think they were just two sellers having... A small amount of them um, of merchandise. Now, I didn't get the pop figures though, um, but I'm gonna show you what I what I actually got. So actually, my idea was to find some nice Pokemon. Um, I wanted to look at the Star Wars stuff and um, also, well, was definitely looking for some Sonic stuff. Now the very first item that I actually find uh, found, sorry, was uh, actually I got it right away. Uh, was this little Sonic plush here? That was like, yeah, one of the only sellers that had that had such plushies. I think this plush is described um, as being one of the cheapest Sonic plush you can find on Earth. Um, I think um, I'm gonna put him out of his little plastic bag. He's tiny, but actually, I'm glad to find one. Any uh, anyway, so. Even though it doesn't look too good. Um, I think Angry Sonic, if, it's, if that's the name of the channel, have been getting some of those to customize them. He was about he wanted to paint them and uh, make them, yeah, uh, ha make some, some random, actually, uh, custom Sonics. Which is actually a good idea. Um, I just got one and he, he actually described in his video um, this plush being... Um, the cheapest one you can actually get of Sonic and he also said I think that they were about like you can get those like for or five bucks on eBay or stuff like this so it's definitely a little uh, ripoff toy a little bootleg plush I don't know um, this is a tag it comes with it's it's actually a pretty tag but the colors are a bit yeah the colors are fading a bit I don't really know how to describe it um, so yeah, actually I'm glad it is tagged, but I'm probably going to keep the tag in my fanbook. And it's also, I think, branded uh, by Kid Galaxy, and I think those guys actually produce little bootlegs. So yeah, this is a little mo uh, modern Sonic. Actually, what I really like about him are his ears, because I think his ears have the shape of uh, little pygmy hedgehog ears, and uh, that's what I really appreciate about it. It's really cute, actually. Uh, he really, his ears really re remind me of the ears of a pygmy hedgehog. So, and you can hang him up. I think I got him for like seven fifty, which it's it's even, in my opinion, even be quite expensive. But I was delighted. I found this little guy. When I found him, I just got him right away. Um, so this is it for this little Sonic blush. Yes, I'm very enthusiastic about finding any uh, Sonic plush here in Belgium because I think Comic-Con is the event where you can actually um, track some if there are some. So, yeah, 
You won't find them anywhere else, I can tell you. Um, actually, the second item that I found was also Sonic related. You might remember those Sega Price Euro plush. I have Shadow over there. I think Sonic is not far behind. Uh, but also, th those were actually available in one stand. And uh, I just couldn't help it. I got Tails. Um, he was just really sweet. I was about to get Tails and Amy, but I I left Amy on purpose. I didn't like her design. She was her head was completely flat, and she didn't look too much like the character to me. She um, Tails looks kind of good, um, and I think he turns his size turns out pretty okay. They made a nice job on his body, the shape of his body and his uh, legs. Um, his tails here have a weird shape, but I think they made them quite long and they reach even, well, look how long they are compared with his legs. So actually it's just a very well made plush, a nice collectible. I'm not really into tails, I have to say. Uh, I don't really, you, uh, don't really collect him. But um, I really wanted to have a little Sonic plush that remind me of this day. And I collected Sonic and Shadow already. They, they had the whole gang there. But I was like the only seller who had Sonic plush. So there was at least someone who had them. I was very pleased with this and I wanted to remember that. So um, I got Tails. And after all I was pleased with him. He looks nice, he's really good and he is a pretty pretty plush. So if you want to see his tag here. And look what a pretty picture of him. So after all, I think it's a good buy. I think I paid it like 19 euros for him. I could get two for 30. But Amy just, her face looked deformed. She had pretty green eyes though. Um, but she looked more like purple instead of pink. And I noticed that on the website already. I didn't like the way she uh, she has been. <laughs> Look at it. Look how he, he puts his tails between his legs. So cute. There you go. Look how sweet he is. So yeah, that's it for uh, the little plush from Sonic that I found. I also found the third item. A little random one. found this little keychain. Um, in one of the... Um, stands one of the creams I'm gonna say where I was uh, a random seller had this so I decided to get it uh, I'm just gonna leave it in its packaging uh, really sweet and actually I I love the entire item with its black it plastics um, and uh, I would like to keep the keychain like this really sweet so yeah, that's about it. Now actually I also hope to find some nice Pokemon plush. Uh, last year I found... Um, Jolteon in a 12 inch size. And I found Glaceon in a 12 inch. And also on in Made in Asia I found a nice Umbreon. Of course all bootlegs. You will never find the real thing here on Comic Con. That's a good thing to remember. Um, so, or you pay for the bootlegs, or you don't get them. It's up to you. But you will never find Pokemon Center plush here in Belgium. Uh, maybe on eBay, if you have the right seller, just ask to more experienced people. But I don't have any issues with bootlegs, so as long as they look nice, I just go for them. And uh, I have been finding a nice bunch of Pokemon. I'm, I have been recording a bunch as well. Uh, I was actually looking for Vulpix, for Fennekin, for the ones that I actually really like. I hope to find some nice evolutions. But unfortunately they only had like 10 inch ones. And uh, I have been collecting a few of them like already. So I wanted to look for 12 inch Pokemon. And I have been looking for... Um, the ones that I, well, the special ones that I was looking for, and I found Vulpix. And here he is. So, he was actually the only Vulpix available, apparently. There's just one seller who had him. Um, 
Now, of course, I can understand people don't like this plush, but I kind of do, so I don't really mind about it. Um, I think his collar is here somewhere. I got him a collar. It must be left on my... Oh, there it is. I left it on my desk, I think. Yeah, that's it, I think. Um, he will have an orange one. I'm not gonna show you him. I have been selling my Eevee because um, I have a few nice Eevees now who are better looking. So, that's uh, Vulpix. He's a bit deformed. He has a weird way of... Well, he's like half sitting, half standing. That's kind of weird. The shape of his paws, of his feet, are a bit weird. Um, his tail is a bit detached. He has like a six tail, nine tails type of tail. Um... So actually you can put them next to each other like this and maybe you can sew them together and then his tail will look more like Vulpix's tail instead of like a, a nine tails tail of some, or something. So his tails are a bit detached. Also here, his little curly hair here, his little mane is also detached so it's kind of weird. But I don't really mind, I really love the look in his eyes. Also, his coloring is not very decent. Uh, he should actually be a bit darker. Uh, and he should have red markings here. Well, he's actually light brown. And he has orange markings. Still, I think he turns out okay. But I don't think I will ever get another Vulpix online. So, um, for now, I'm pretty sure that this is the one I'll keep. His belly is just white. But maybe if I can reach that place, I'll show you my Vulpix here that I've been getting a while ago. So these are my Eevees. They also had plenty of those nine tails. you might remember them. They didn't have these guys. I also saw the Arcanine that I really liked, but I, I left it. This is the Jolteon that I got last year. I know his ear has a weird direction. But I still keep this guy, he's, he's awesome. Uh, here's the Glaceon that I found last year. So last year they had like larger evolutions and by then I left Levion. I hope to found, find her today. Here's the Vulpix I was talking about. Um, he's, a, he's a bit smaller. But as you can see he has like more, yeah, harder markings. Uh, his tail is a bit more decent. His mane as well, and they're kind of fluffy. But they are red and he is almost like orange. He has like the same color as the marking on the large one. So when you actually compare them, I can understand that people don't really approve this plush. Yeah, sometimes they do a really nice job on those fake plush. But I have to say when I see some of them, they are very soft and the stitching is quite well as well. Quite okay as well, but... Sometimes the plush have a weird general shape and they turn out deformed. So also this guy, as you can see, he, he just puts his chest uh, forward. He's like half standing, half sitting. It's kind of weird. Um, but I think I really appreciate the tail. Um, for me, it's not 100% important that Vulpix looks exactly like the Pokemon. Actually, I was happy to find a Vulpix, a Vulpix so yeah. This guy might look a bit better. Um, still have his tag here. He's uh, definitely fake, I think. Um, I don't really mind, to be honest. So don't ask me if they are or if they are not. To me, they're just my plush. So nothing more, nothing less. I hope I can actually... Oop! Damn it. Almost. Well, that's it. I was really glad I found a few items, because those Sonic items are really special to me uh, when found in this country. The last item that I would like to show you, no I have two last items, two items left to show you, Star Wars items. I came across a figure that I really appreciate for some reason, this Darth Vader figure. Now he looks, he had like a shield. A little empire shield. Never had, never saw Vader using this thing, but maybe that was actually the very first thing that caught my eye when I uh, saw this figure. He's a really good size. 
you can just hold him like this. He he has a very muscled design. He looks a bit, he reminds me of the Disney Infinity figure of him. Um, he has a nice soft cape. And I think the detail here on his under cape is really well made. I don't really know how old this figure is. I don't believe it's very old. Um, but I think I've paid like four bucks for it. That's why I actually got it, because it was a very good price. And uh, for that price, I was quite okay with, with it. Uh, there were like plenty of Star Wars items. It was amazing. If I had the money to take all the items that I wanted, I think I... Well, I think this haul might be at least two or three times longer than it will be. So, yeah, it's amazing. Um, but I actually, I'm more into Sonic these days, so I I just left the Star Wars stuff that I... Um, that I Actually, I got a few things, but not that quite much. Um, I finally found the Black Series figure that I wanted so bad. The Kylo one, without its mask. I've been recording it several times, but it was like 30 bucks. I think it's quite much for a 6-inch figure. Look, this guy is even larger. I think he's about 8 inch. And I've and I just paid 4 bucks for him. So, I think people just exaggerate sometimes, and I think I'll just I have other figures of Kylo, so yeah. Would like to show you one last item. I forgot to put it on my bed. <laughs> I got this Kylo pillow. Uh, let's open it. It's not open yet. I have been finding so nice items. Also some Universal Studio plush. I got this Kylo pillow because he was magnificent and he remembers my uh, he remembers mine so much and I have been collecting a few of these uh, I have a Darth Vader pillow like this and I have another Kylo pillow like this so not exactly the same but still um, This was actually the last the last item that I um, that I got, and I wasn't so sure I would actually get it, but after all, I decided to do it. It was just ten bucks, and I think that's quite okay for such a pretty pillow. It is amazingly soft. It's so pretty, um, and I wanted to have him to go with my Vader one. I got this Yoda uh, last year on Comic Con. There you go. They just go so well together. It's amazing. I always bring those guys together. Kylo and his granddad. <laughs> um, this, this guy comes from Dreamland. He was even more expensive. But this one, yeah. I'm very sensitive for his uh, the look in his eyes, I think. Each time I see Kylo, I, um, I notice the same. And it was so for the very first... Since the very first time that I actually saw him. So. It never changed. The very first color that caught my eye was my large figure over there. Oh, he's a bit hidden. Yeah. So I guess that's about it. Now I really hope you enjoyed this uh, haul and you enjoyed the Comic-Con videos. And I'll see you later guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.